Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Now, I don't know if this is a bug or this is a really cool synergy. Uh, look, this is Yellow Jacket, this is an Ascended Rank 5. At this particular point, no Suicide Masteries, uh, I think I said Ascended Rank 5, 200 Signature, uh, Yellow Jacket. This particular synergy is amazing. It is absolutely insane and it's just... Well, I don't know if it's game-breaking because it does have... Well, I'm sure people would find a use in different types of story content to clear, but... It is doing so much damage. This particular synergy, uh, as what I gather, uh, was kind of, and this combination was found out from uh, Kalantak. He posted this video about seven days ago, and you know it's titled "Yellow Jacket Has Awesome Interaction with the Synergy." I put a link in the description to Kalantak's channel, and as well, it comes from a Twitter discussion, which is the, like incredibly, incredibly uh, interesting. And there's some more kind of like details as to like, well, how this all happens with this champion. So yeah, we're going to see some more footage as well. He was using a Suicide Mastery version of the particular champion. Uh, and the champion is this. We'll have to look at like how this all kind of molds and gels together. Because there's a lot. I think it's the future Ant-Man synergy that makes it. So, I mean, look at this. Right. Uh, 200 signature version is that power sting is 100% chance to reapply itself once activated. Chance decreases by 0% each time this happens. Um, something kind of interacts with the champion. We got the physical vulnerability uh, popping up. So there's a lot of things to kind of take into consideration here. We'll go back between the abilities and here and some of the synergies and how they're playing out. Uh, obviously question whether or not it's a bug. Not a bug, that's for sure, since it's worked as intended. Signature is continuously tries to reapply power stings from an SB3 at 200, 200, uh, 200. It reapplies with 100% chance, so it's definitely not a bug. They have to change how the signature works or max stack limit on future Ant-Man synergy. Uh, and as well, going forward to say uh, is how it's coded. Uh, so saying that uh, checking to reapply power sting, SP3 power sting was one permanent, then it wouldn't happen. But since its percentage base signature is to check cause uh, physical vulnerability to reapply. So let's have a look at that uh, future Ant-Man synergy. The team kind of like set up before I go into showing some suicide mastery like um, uh, combinations. I'm just going to like just get into any kind of fight here because I just need to kind of showcase the synergy. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, one of the many synergies. You can replace Wasp with um, uh, with Vulture. That's another thing. So, I mean, for example, it's just a case of grabbing Vulture, going boom, boom, and then throwing that in to, to there. That, that's how the original kind of like I tested it out. But it's on this. So this uh, bug speak. Each time the opponent is inflicted with a power sting debuff, inflict a physical vulnerability debuff, lowering physical resistance by 10% for 10 seconds. So there's something obviously in that. Each time the opponent is inflicted with a power sting debuff, inflict a physical vulnerability. So there must be like, okay, we're triggering power sting, a power sting debuff, boom, 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 stack, 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 uh, like that. Uh, from syner other synergies, then we do have, I think it's in the Mr. Fantastic synergy that's put with this, that the potency of synergy, no, not that one, wrong one. It's uh, this one here, which is uh, debuffs also apply an indefinite power sting dealing direct damage. That could have some interactions based there. 60% uh, of their attack rating, whatever it is. We've also got the Hulkbuster one, which is power stings gain 65% potency. Of course, that's all about the damage rather than the physical vulnerability uh, it's, uh, itself. I don't know, does that play it? No, that won't play a factor into it. And we've got obviously cruelty damage, but that again is not a big thing here. When Vulture's concerned, it's you get plus 5% attack rating and 15% debuff duration. Of course, that's handy to keep on. But I guess that is the question, isn't it? Like, how much these debuffs are reapplying and staying on? Now, I thought I'd go a bit further to test things out. We've got a little uh, fight against the uh, thing. This is the Abyss of Legends based uh, thing. And it just, okay, so it just wasn't, I managed to get the rotations in with the physical vulnerability, but it's, it's not the same because essentially I want to get like a, like a slow debuff in or, you know, have a champion that's got bleed in order to like sort out those rock stacks. But you can definitely see the intent and the rotation to kind of punish on the amount of power stings that are going in. And you can see the 99 build up. Now we go over to the Star Lord fight. And of course, this is a bit more of a, a meteor fight and meteor bit of damage. Now at this point, I need to stop 
and pick the fight up a little bit further on because I don't want to make this kind of like too lengthy. Essentially, it's after the second SP3 that I've done that uh, everything kind of uh, clicks in. And you can see that it just ramped up. The physical vulnerability just completely stacked on itself and went like super high. And now you're seeing the great amount of damage. This is kind of like an easier ramp up. If this synergy is legit and it won't be nerfed, and that's going to be the big question. Will Kabam nerf this uh, synergy, which is the future Ant-Man synergy in this, then uh, this ramp up, if it's allowed to be kept, this, I don't know if this is, we said it's game breaking because we can't test it out in Necropolis. But here's the thing, um, if the CCP had access to Necropolis and whether or not anybody, um, you know, will kind of rank up now and take this option into Necropolis, it could mean for some great amount of damage. Now, I'm not going to rank five uh, champion going like, okay, well, this is, what well, this is going to be uh th this yeah th this could be game breaking uh, to the extent of like damage you can do in a very short space of time and it could be another option um or it could be a cheese option or a wrong option depending on how Kaban want to uh to take this on but it's definitely a fun alternative to uh, do a massive amount of, of damage in a very short space of time again we've got another example on screen now, I'm obviously suicide masteries with this setup the Ant Man, uh, what is it? The, yeah, the Ant Man, uh, like uh, relic. It could be a case that you use the Hulk relic for this in order to maximize physical vulnerability, in order to do more crit based damage, possibly, possibly not. I think there's a lot of combinations that could be worked with this to maximize even more damage, but even from like a, a standpoint of what Kalantak kind of found, or whoever found this, by the way, there's probably somebody that found this synergy uh, by chance. But again, it's like a, a point of. Will Kabam nerf this knowing what this can really do? You know, we're getting into that second SP, SP2 from this point. Uh, and as soon as that's kind of like put in, it's like, blah, 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 blah. You can see physical vulnerability top right hand corner just stacking up there and getting really darn high. And it's like, as soon as that goes in, it's like super damage uh, with it. I don't know, like, it's a tough one. Imagine, imagine a seven star version of this kind of doing, doing this particular element of this interaction. I, I don't know, thoughts... On it. I'm, I'm just using a three-star future Ant-Man as the synergy. I mean, it doesn't make any difference, but the point is, um, you know, I only had access to the three-star version of the champion. So, an incredibly powerful synergy is out there. Shout out to Kalantak for, for finding this. I'd like to see if there's any Necropolis-based footage. I just checked and currently there's not. But one thing that I think would is important to mention is that if you're running a Necropolis or thinking about it, and again, I'm not advising this because I haven't tested it and I can't test it because it's not on the CCP beta and I'm not rank fiving a Yellow Jacket just yet. Good champion, but I'm not doing it just yet because I want to see what Kabam do with this because here's the thing. They could look at it and go, no, this isn't working as intended uh, and we're going to nerf it, uh, the synergy that is. So yeah, this could be the team right here on setup and floating another champion, which could be your lead champion to smack a load of damage in could be Yellow Jacket. In theory, not saying it's going to work for every fight, but in theory. And then what you'd be doing is you'd be taking in a champion that would be reverse control for the last percentage of um, of the Grandmaster. It's essentially like an Aegon type situation. Potentially yes, potentially no. But uh, yeah, really interesting. Shout out to Kalantak. Links to his uh, socials and as well his YouTube channel are in the description. Go and give some love and support. Go and give a subscribe, you know. Go follow. Um, but yeah, what's your thoughts on this? Do you think Kabam might nerf it? Thoughts in the comment section. Check out some other content, which will be located on screen right now. And have a lovely day, whatever you're doing. Bye-bye.